An empty chair at the table isn't the show of unity Pacific leaders wanted at their first in-person meeting in three years. Kiribati decided to leave the group over a dispute about who should lead the forum. It's been suggested that China was behind the decision after a period of increased diplomatic activity in the region. And it was in that light of geopolitical rivalry that the U.S. stepped up with an unprecedented address. At a time when we see bad actors seeking to undermine the rules-based order, we must stand united. The United States announced a funding boost for the Pacific Islands and a plan to open embassies in Kiribati and Tonga. The Prime Minister of Tonga says discussions about the embassy began well before the recent publicity about China. But if a battle for influence is underway, it could be good for the region. Tonga, as I'm sure as most Pacific Islands, are very happy that a lot of our, our, our partners now are paying more attention to the Pacific and, and the issues that we face. Australia and New Zealand are the traditional power brokers in the region. The leaders of both have spoken of their concerns about security deals China has been signing or trying to sign with some of the smaller Pacific countries. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese and his New Zealand counterpart Jacinda Ardern are both here in Suva with big delegations. A sign that this Pacific Islands forum is being taken more seriously than ever before presenting the smaller nations with a prime opportunity to capitalise. A former Prime Minister of Fiji and former leader of the forum, Sitaveni Rambuka, has told Al Jazeera that Australia and New Zealand have taken the region for granted for too long. They felt that the association and all the assistance and cooperation uh, that we've had in the past was enough to, to keep the cohesion of the region. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, everybody's eyes are opening up to uh, what else there is. On the final day of meetings, leaders will release a joint declaration that will address shared values, aspirations and unity. But there's concern among some here that with increasing geopolitical competition, keeping this group united will become increasingly difficult. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Suva.